Hey friends, how you doing? Jason Torres here of JasonJTorres.com. Hope that you're having a great day. It's about 1.30 in the morning, fired up here in uh, Atlanta. And just cutting this video because what I want to share with you is something that came out of a webinar that I just hopped off on right now. So I wanted to get this content out. And today we're going to be talking about branding yourself versus your MLM company and why you should be branding yourself. Now, let's face it, in 2017, you have people who brand themselves and people who brand their company. Now, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with branding your company. But if you are branding your company, you're basically one dimensional. And what I mean by that is that you're limited to whatever the company teaches you on how to get the marketing message for the product, services and opportunity out to the masses, whether that's done online or offline. Number two is that. Every other representative is being taught to do the same exact strategy that you're potentially using and what separates you from any other representative as far as value is concerned. And so one of the key things that you want to do as a um, entrepreneur is you want to create a couple of degrees of separation and be able to provide value to your target market in exchange to getting them to either join your business or buy products or services from you. Most times these days when people lead with their product and with their company and with their services and opportunity, I know when they approach me, I immediately go to Google and I do a Google search. And most times before they approach me, I kind of know what company they're in because they plaster it all over social media at any chance that they get. And so if I'm going to Google to do research on a company, don't you think that everybody else is doing the same thing too? And eventually what happens most times is because there's no value proposition that's put out by the person who's marketing that company, a prospect will go to Google, do the research, and if they like the company and what it stands for, they'll reach out to a key leader who's already established and will potentially join them rather than joining you. And the last thing is that it's, you know, one dimensional, one single income stream, which means that if you present your opportunities, products and services to a potential prospect and they don't have a need for what you're offering, the relationship stops there and there's nothing else that you really can do. You have your hands tied. Now, when you decide to brand yourself, here's the beauty of branding yourself. You create attraction. And when it comes to creating attraction, you do that by providing solutions to the problems that people may have in your target market that your product, services, and opportunity provides the solution for. When you lead with value, value is your currency. You become more attractive, and it doesn't matter what company you're involved with, people are going to want to do business and join you because they're attracted to you. And as we know, people do business with people that they like and they trust. And so people are going to want to do business with you. It allows you to market anything that you want to, change companies, do whatever you want to do, because you know what, you're leading with yourself and you're leading with value. And it, it puts you in a position to create multiple streams of income. And even if people don't want to join your network marketing opportunity, you still have something else that can be of a solution to them. For example, if you're representing a health and wellness beverage and the person's not interested, what about if they're in a different network marketing company, but you have a way to help them generate leads, prospects, and create more money in their network marketing company, wouldn't that be a solution to a problem that they may have? So there you have it. That's my take on branding yourself and positioning yourself as a leader in the marketplace versus branding your MLM company and that being one dimensional. Now, I would love to hear your feedback on what I'm talking about. What are your thoughts? Do you think that it's smarter to brand yourself or do you think that it's okay to solely brand your company? I would love to hear your feedback. Make sure that you like this post, comment, share, and also subscribe. And if you're someone who's looking for ways to generate more prospects, um, more leads for your business, and create more income on the 90% of folks who may say no to your primary opportunity, click the link right below this video. I want to give you instant access to a 12-minute video webinar that's going to show you to is that's going to show you to, ah, that's going to show you to that's going to show you to do exactly what we were talking about three times is a charm and i'm beat i look forward to connecting with you and if you like more tips tools and strategies on things like this that i'm sharing please visit my blog at jasonjtorres.com take care i'm going to bed <laughs>